We're starting in downward facing dog right here. Pedaling out one leg and then the other. I always love to encourage a slight bend in the knees because our priority right here in downward dog is to lengthen in the spine. Get a little bit of a stretch to the hamstrings right here. Zip your core in. We're floating our gaze over to our knees or our belly button. Let's take one clearing round of breath. Inhale through the nose. Expand to the belly, ribs, chest. Hold the breath at the top of this inhale. Now take an open mouth exhale. Nice job. Gently shake your head from side to side. Remember the neck is nice and long right here. We're grounding down the index finger and thumbs. At the top of your next inhale, extend your right leg high to the sky. Point and flex your toes. Now we're keeping the hips square to the earth right here. Slight bend to the elbows. Go ahead and point your toes. Bend your right knee. We're stacking the hips. Circle out your right knee. Openness to the hip right here. Can we maintain the gaze towards our belly button or our left knee? Rocking your head from side to side is welcome. Notice right here if you're leaning more weight towards the left. I want you to ground down evenly in both of your hands. So hips and shoulders are square to the earth. You're here for three, two, one. Inhale, extend your right leg long. Flex your right toes, hips square. As you exhale round, knee to chest, we're going to go ahead and float our gaze towards our fingertips. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, go ahead and round, knee to chest. We're floating the gaze forward. Now tuck your chin towards your throat. Draw your knee closer to your face. Last round, inhale, extend, right leg high. Down dog splits, and exhale, round. Need to know, back is rounded like in cat pose. Loading the gaze forward, step your right foot forward. Now we're keeping both hands evenly grounded against the earth right here. But it's totally okay if the foot steps in back of the hand. You can always shimmy the right foot closer to the hand. Make your way onto your fingertips, gaze back at your left foot. We want to make sure the feet are hip width distance apart. So if this feels a little rickety right here, you can always step your left foot closer to the left and bring your left foot a little bit closer to the front. We're on the tips of our fingers. Option right here to float your blocks underneath your fingertips. Now I'm just going to remove this block so you guys can see. We're going to lift and lower the right toes right here. So finding your padabandha, grounded in the right heel. A lift up through the arch of the right foot. And we're grounded all the way to the ball now of the right foot. I want you to start to feel nice and warm in the back of your right thigh and glute. Gently tap your right toes against the earth. And find a 90 degree shape to the right leg. So you can always step your left foot a little bit closer to the front. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up high. Crescent warrior right here. Back of the neck is nice and long. Focus your drifty gaze towards the front. We're going to wrap the thumbs to the inside of the fingers. Go ahead and twirl out your hands right here. So when we were just in our three-legged down dog, we did quite a bit of work with the hands right there. Now we're stretching out the wrists, fingertips, and forearms. Notice right here, do the shoulders want to shrug up towards the ears? Again, a bend to the elbows is always welcome, similar to your chair pose. Keeping the spine nice and long. You're here for four, three, last two, and one. At the top of your next inhale, high five the front wall. So spreading the fingers nice and wide. With your exhale, go ahead and paint. It's like your hands are paint brushes right here. We're sweeping the arms towards the back. Notice again, do the shoulders want to shrug up towards the ears? A little bend to the elbows is welcome. Draw the shoulders away from the head. Play around with lifting and lowering your right toes. Weight is nice and steady in the right heel and the ball mound of your right foot. Tap your right toes against the earth. Inner thighs draw in towards one another. Now bring the tips of your fingers together. It's like your hands are little bottles of paint or little tubes of paint. 
Inhale, squeeze the paint. Feel that stretch to the backs of your hands. As you exhale, hand high five the front. We are painting nice and smooth. Take two more rounds. Inhale, squeeze the paint up nice and high. We're isolating the movement to just the arms. And exhale, spreading the fingers, painting the house. Last round right here. Inhale, squeeze the paint. Tips of the fingers draw together. And exhale, fly the arms towards the back. Nice job. Inhale, fly your hands to face one another. We're reaching the fingers higher up to the sky. And then inner thighs draw in towards one another. As you exhale, hinge at the hips. Hands are nice and controlled. We're going to land on the tips of the fingers once more. So hands can come to blocks for more support if you'd like. Also an option right here, you can play around with the different height of the blocks. Now steadily bring your hands flat against the surface. A little bend to the elbows right here. Play around with lifting and lowering your right toes. Drawing the shoulders away from the head on your next inhale. Extend your right arm high to the sky. So this is your easy twist right here. Can we square the hips towards the earth? Chest opens up to the ceiling. Notice right here, are we sagging weight into the left shoulder? Stay lifted. Can we spin the sternum higher up to the sky? Ball your right hand into a fist. Circle out your wrist. So option right here to wrap your right thumb to the insides of your fingers. You're here for four, three. Last two, and one. Now inhale, spread the right fingertips. Notice right here what's going on with your neck. Is the right ear curling towards the right shoulder? Is the left ear curling towards the left shoulder? Can we keep the neck nice and long? You can keep your eyes towards the right side of the room, or maybe fly the gaze higher up to the ceiling. Just keep the back of the neck nice and long. On your next exhale, we're going to reach the hand, the right hand towards the back. Keep the fingers spread nice and long. Inhale all the way up. We're isolating the movement to just the right hand. And exhale, fly the right hand back. Two more right here. Inhale, extend up nice and high. Maybe get more length with your left arm. Keep a slight bend to your left elbow, though. We're not hyperextending in our left arm. Exhale, fly the right hand to the back. Last round. Inhale all the way up. And exhale towards the back. Inhale, bring it all the way up. As you exhale, fly your right hand to the outside of your right foot. You have a block underneath one or both of your hands. Gently remove your blocks, place them towards the front end of your mat. We're pressing weight into our hands. We're going to step the right foot back. Go ahead and pause right here. You're going to hinge forward, exhale, lower onto your knees. Pointing your toes, just giving a little sway from side to side. You can find this movement with your hips as well. Maybe even your neck. Notice how this feels on your knees. The knees are a little sensitive. You know is Bring a little towel underneath the knees. Neck stays long. Bring more of a bend to the elbows. Rocking your head from side to side. You're here for four. Three. Maybe start to find some movement in the toes. You can start to Circle out the toes, pointing and flexing. Let's see, here for two, and one. Nice job, bring it all the way to the top. On your next inhale, flex your toes. Go ahead and step your feet to the back. Notice what's going on with the hands. Are we still grounded in the index finger and thumbs? With your exhale, keep your neck nice and long. We're looking towards the tips of our fingers. Hinge forward, shoulders in front of the wrists. Go ahead and bend the elbows. Hover right here. Half push up. Inhale. Pull your heart forward. Point your toes towards the back. Heart is nice and open. Neck is long. Option right here to make this cobra into an upward facing dog. You can start to float your shins and hips off the earth. As you exhale, send your hips up and back into your downward facing dog once more. So again, you can play around with pedaling out one leg and then the other. Maybe gently rocking your head from side to side. Notice right here, how different does your right side feel from your left? 
Can we bring the gaze towards our belly button or not? Again, our priority in downward facing dog is to lengthen in the spine and strengthen the core. Slowly find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Here to three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale, release. Walk your big toes together to touch. And keeping a slight bend to the knees is welcome. Just be mindful of how the hamstrings and knees feel. Noticing any difference between your right and left side. Steady and strong. We're rooted in both of our hands. Inhale. Extend your left leg long. Down dog splits. Circling out your left foot this time. Again, notice right here, are we dumping more weight into the right hand? Stay rooted evenly in both of our hands, shoulders square to the earth. Go ahead and point your left toes. Bend your left knee, stacking the hips, circling out your left knee, finding your down dog splits right here in your three-legged down dog. Feel openness to your left hip and thigh. Always an option right here to shorten your stance, especially if the wrists start to grow sensitive. Are you still grounded in the index finger and thumb? You're here for four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. Flex your left toes. As you exhale, round. Knee to chest. You're going to think back to your cat pose right here. Float the eyes forward. Inhale, extend. Left leg long. Three-legged down dog. Exhale, round. Knee to chest, nice and controlled. You're popping the chest towards the shoulders. Now round your head inwards. Last round. Inhale, float the eyes forward. Extend your left leg back. Hips go up and back. Exhale, round. Send your knee to your chest. Tuck your chin towards your throat. Keep your left knee lifted. Inhale, float your eyes to your fingertips. As you exhale, keep both hands rooted against the earth. Step your left foot forward. Make your way onto the tips of your fingers right here. We're finding a 90 degree shape to our left leg this time. Again, always an option to bring blocks underneath the tips of your fingers. So we're knee being in this tented position with our hands, steady and strong. And take note of the posture of your feet. Is the right foot disappearing in back of your left foot? You can always widen your stance. Option to step your right foot closer to the right. Maybe even stepping your right foot closer to the front. Find your padabanda in our left foot. Stay rooted in your left heel. Lift up through the left arch of your foot. We're grounded in the ball mound of our left foot. Lift and lower your toes. So I'm going to remove this block once more just so you guys can take a look right here. Notice, does your belly and chest want to droop towards your left thigh? Can you stay lifted right here? Eyes are towards the front of your nose. Play around with the different heights of the blocks if you'd like. So play around with having little to no weight in the fingertips. Maybe even hover the hands off the earth. We're here for four, three, last two, and one. Gently tap your left toes down. Keeping your left heel, or excuse me, right heel lifted. Inhale, nice and controlled. We find our crescent warrior with our left leg forward. Ball your hands into fits. You're going to wrap your thumbs to the inside of your fingers. Circle out your wrists. Inner thighs draw in towards one another. I want you to feel nice and tall from your hips all the way up to your, or all the way past your torsos, up to your shoulders and Neck is nice and long. You're here for four, three, last two, and one. Now inhale, spread your fingertips, hands face one another. Lift and lower your left toes once more. Nice and warm in your left glute and thigh. Jaw is nice and relaxed. Start to notice right here in these power yoga positions, do we start to clench in the jaw? Stay nice and left. Slight separation between the top and bottom rows of your teeth. Go ahead and place your left toes against the earth. Inhale. Hands high five the front. And get ready to paint the house as you exhale. Sweeping motion, nice and controlled. 
Play around with lifting the arms a little bit higher, sweeping the shoulder blades together. A little bend to the elbows as always welcome. Tips of the fingers draw together. Inhale, squeeze the paint. So feeling your stretch through the tops of your hands and forearms. As you exhale, hands high five the front. Go ahead and paint the hat. Sweep your arms closer to the back. Tips of the fingers together. Inhale, squeeze the paint up nice and high. And exhale, fly your arms towards the back. So I think we did four of the squeeze the paint and paint the house on our right side. Let's go ahead and take two more rounds. Inhale right here, squeeze your paint, back to the hands, nice and stretched. And exhale, fly the arms towards the back. Gaze is soft, inner thighs draw in towards one another, nice and strong. Inhale, squeeze your paint up nice and high. And exhale, fly your arms towards the back. Beautiful work. Inhale, palms face one another. Feel a stretch from your ribs all the way up to your fingers. As you exhale, nice and controlled, we're going to swan by the hands against blocks or the earth. So again, play around with the different heights of the blocks. Steadiness right here. Back of the neck is nice and long. I'm staying lifted. Let's go ahead and tent our fingertips against the earth. Lift and lower your left toes once more. Again, shortening your stance is always an option. You can always tap your right foot closer to the front. Here for three, two, one. Gently plant your left toes down. Palms are going to high five the earth or blocks. Steadiness right here, keeping a 90 degree shape to your left leg. And go ahead and come onto the tips of your left fingers. Inhale, opening up towards your left side this time. So back of the neck is nice and long. Notice if your right ear wants to droop towards your shoulder or if the left ear wants to lift up. We're squaring our hips closer to the earth. Heart opens up towards the ceiling. Ball your left hand into a fist. Circle out your left wrist. Notice right here, is there a hyperextension to our right arm? Find a little bend to your right elbow. Shoulders draw down and away from the ears. You're here for four. Three, last two, and one. Inhale, spread your left fingertips. As you exhale, fly your left arm towards the back. Notice how different this side may or may not feel from the other side. Let's take three more reaches. Inhale, up high, vertical left arm. Exhale, fly your left arm towards the back, finding a horizontal-ish shape. Final two, inhale, up high, and exhale, all the way to the back. Last one, inhale up high, and exhale to the back. Inhale, send your left arm high. As you exhale, left hand to the outside of your left foot, steady and strong right here. If you have blocks underneath your hands, go ahead and slide your blocks off to either side of your mat. Let's go ahead and walk our hands a little bit in front of our left foot, pressing into your palms. Inhale, step your left leg to the back, I plank pose. As you exhale, lower onto your knees. Point your toes. Draw your shoulders away from your head. And go ahead and twirl out to our feet. Gently rock from side to side right here. And find this movement in your hips, ribs, and head as well. You're here for four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, bring it back to the center. Go ahead and step onto your toes. High plank pose once more. Grounded in the index finger and thumb. Slow your eyes to the tips of your fingers. Rock forward. With your exhale, bend your elbows. Option to lower onto your knees. Finding your half push up, chaturanga. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Point your toes towards the back. As you exhale, go ahead and rock onto your feet. Lift your hips up and back. We are back to our downward facing dog. And shake your head from side to side. Bend one knee and then the other. So notice how your right side feels in comparison to your left side. Here for four, three, last two, and one. Now inhale right here. Rock forward, high plank pose. Walk your big toes together to touch. As you exhale, rock forward. 
opening out the knees towards either end of our mat. And go ahead and bring the tops of your toes against the earth. Child's pose. Sending your hips towards your heels. Grounding your chest and forehead against the earth. If the shoulders are feeling tight, you can always cactus out your elbows right here. So squeezing your shoulder blades down and back. Chest and forehead draw closer to the earth. Breathe in through the nose. Expand to three, two, one. Exhale through the nose. Pull in to three, two, one. Option right here to gently rock your head from side to side. Giving your forehead a gentle massage. So once more, notice what happened to the facial muscles. Did we start to furrow in the brows or clench the jaw? Soften in the facial muscles. Feel the fire in your belly. Another option right here is to walk the arms forward, finding a little bit of a straighter shape to your arms. Palms can touch right here. If you'd like to take a gentle tricep stretch. In a bend your elbows, send your thumbs towards the back of your neck. Two more pounds of breath. Inhale here to your belly, ribs, and chest. Exhale here, pull in at your belly, ribs, and chest. Soften in the facial muscles. Can we elongate every breath we take in? If you'd like to release heat, an open mouth exhale as well. Here for four, three, last two, and one. 